Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to talk to you all about the five things I'm looking forward to in 2021. As I just mentioned today I want to talk to you all about the five things I'm looking forward to in 2021. So the UK is back in lockdown again and we are homeschooling. Uh, thankfully my husband has taken my son out for a little while so I can film this. Thank goodness. Um, so yes we are back in lockdown we are homeschooling so Teddy's at home a lot of the time and life is feeling a bit I don't know like I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day at the moment, like every day I get up and it's the same thing over and over again. I don't know if there's anybody else out there who feels like that. Um, so I thought I'd make this video to cheer myself up because I think when you've got things to look forward to, it can help you to have a positive focus in life, if that makes sense. And there are some things that I really want to do this year and I really want to get done as well. And I like watching videos like this one so this is kind of my goals resolutions video and I like watching these videos so as I like watching them I thought there must be someone else out there who likes watching these as well so I thought I'd share the five things that I'm looking forward to this year one of the things I'm looking forward to this year is making more content for my vlog and my blog so if you don't know I have a YouTube channel called Alexis Nibs and I also had another YouTube channel called Googie's Kitchen as well and I also have a blog called Googie's Kitchen Life and over the festive season I started to think about recipes that I'd like to make in the new year and now the new year is here I've started on my new recipes and I'm really enjoying it and I'm also really enjoying making video content for YouTube as well. I know we're in lockdown so there'll probably be a lot of day in the lives but I actually like making day in the lives and I like looking back and remembering those as well. So there'll be a lot of day in the lives but I think there's also going to be hopefully some decorating videos as well. I'll talk to you about that a little bit later on. But yes, so I've got a few ideas, uh, quite a lot of ideas for my blog and my vlog and I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you you this year. The next thing I'm really excited about is my mum has started to grow vegetables in her garden. So probably about five or ten years ago my mum used to have an allotment um, at the back of a local park strangely but it was at the back of a local park and when she bought the site it was a mess right it was a complete mess and my mum is the sort of person who says yeah I'll do that I'll get on with that and she never did anything about it and it you know and that's the sort of person my mum is she'll say I'll do that in a minute and never does it but with this allotment site I've never seen her put in so much hard work and she really enjoyed it she thrives at being outside and she loves growing vegetables as well unfortunately she had to give up the allotment site because my dad got very sick so she had to start looking after him so she couldn't look after the allotment site as much as she was anymore so after my dad passed away she decided that she was going to start growing vegetables again and she has a lovely back garden and she's just built some plant boxes in the back garden to grow vegetables in and she started growing onions already hopefully they will be ready in the spring I think um, uh, yeah she started growing shallots she told me so I'm looking forward to that because what she does is she grows all these vegetables and then she gives them to me and I can use them in my recipe so I'm really looking forward to having some of her allotment vegetables because they are to me they always taste a bit better than supermarket or shop brought vegetables I don't know what it is but when they're grown on the allotment and you pick them fresh from the ground they are just so tasty so I'm really looking forward to trying some of these vegetables and putting them into recipes as well so that's another reason I'm really excited about my blog because this year I'll be hopefully making some 
delicious dinners and meals with mum's vegetables, mum's homegrown vegetables. And I'm also looking forward to, fingers crossed, decorating this house. Now I think I've said this in a few videos now, that we are trying to get the house decorated and sorted out. There are quite a few little jobs that need doing. Um, I think we have a sink that needs fixing downstairs. We have some lights that need going up. My husband is currently trying to figure out where all the drafts are and fill in the gaps as well. Um, I would make a video on that, but he'd probably get a bit annoyed with me wandering around the house behind him. So, so once that is all done, and we also need the floorboards done upstairs as well, but that's a very big job. But I'm hoping that this year we're going to get that done. And once all those little jobs are, get, are done, then I'm hoping that we'll be able to redecorate. I'm actually thinking I might start redecorating the spare room soon because I don't know if the floorboards would really need to come up in that room. It's over the garage area and I'm not sure whether that would they would need to go into that room at all. So I'm thinking maybe that we start stripping the walls later on, not at the moment because we're homeschooling, but once homeschooling touch wood has um, finished and the kids go back to school, then hopefully we'll be able to redecorate in that room. I've actually got a colour scheme now as well. I've got an idea of the colours I would like in that house and I've got an idea of what I want to do with Ted's bedroom and the office and our bedroom as well so yes I'm really looking forward to hopefully decorating the house and getting this place up to scratch I love our house I like the layout of it but I do feel like I live in an office block sometimes as you can see behind me it is very grey and the only bright thing in this room is probably my top right now <laughs> so so yes I would really like a bit of colour a splash of colour in the house and I'd also like it to flow as well and I've been looking at colour charts and things as well so I've got an idea of what I want to happen and I'm so excited I'm hoping that I'll be able to make lots of videos on redecorating this house as well. So due to the situation last year we didn't have a summer holiday what we did was Howard took two weeks off work and we stayed at home and then we went out on little day trips instead we had a lovely time it was really nice but I really would like a holiday I don't really want to go abroad to be honest with you I'm okay staying at home so we'd have a staycation um, and Howard Ted and I have discussed the prospects of hiring a caravan near the sea or on the sea um, Ted and I had a little look on Sunday evening so last Sunday we had a little look um, and we found a really nice caravan site in Norfolk but again due to the situation and as the UK has gone back into lockdown they aren't taking bookings at the moment but hopefully touch wood when this is all over who knows when this will be all over well when this is all over we'll be able to book a holiday so yeah we're thinking Norfolk by the sea this year um, and I'm really I'm hoping that we get to go um, I would love to go on holiday as we didn't get one last summer it would be really nice to go this year and then finally I'm hoping there are no more surprises after last year nothing would surprise me anymore I don't think I'd probably be surprised at first and then I'd be like no I'm not surprised anymore I really just want a nice calm year um, if anything nice is going to happen then yes I'd like that surprise but nothing like the year we've just had please I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who feel exactly the same right now and I know that the UK has gone back into lockdown but I do think we will be out of this very soon and I think life will go back to a new normal I don't think we'll ever go back to the way it was and I do think that things are going to start to change as well I think we're going to have to change to cope with this situation to be honest with you but yes I would like a year with a calm year with not very many surprises that would be lovely and I'm sure there are a lot of you out there that will agree with me too so that's the five things I'm looking forward to in 2021 and that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below I would love to know what you are looking forward to in 2021 as well are you trying to book a holiday or are you thinking of decorating your home please let me know below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye!